So although I found my knife, my tongs have been missing for near on a month now. All three pairs of them. Let's hope we don't need them for today's unboxing video. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So I do have a few things to say before we get into this box of goodies. First of all, how do you like this? Oh. The new Christmas jumper by Bug Realms. Merry Stickmas. Now I know, I know we're not even in December yet, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up, especially those that live overseas and it can take a while to arrive. These are actually for sale. They are on the same um, platform as my Project Paradise merchandise. There'll be a link in every description below. I may make an additional link specifically to this Christmas jumper if you're interested. So there's a closer look. It's an ex tatasoma tiratum, adult female. This is actually my biggest ex tatasoma tiratum that I took a photo of, added a little Christmas hat on. Now, the outline of her, there is some slight white to it, but I think it gives it that kind of retro look anyway. I kind of like it. If you're interested in those, please comment below if you're getting one and also check that link. Now, the other main thing, we're doing something a little different today. This box here came from Bugs UK. Now while I just take my address label off, let me just explain why I purchased from these guys. I initially wanted a Red Fang Wandering Spider. I've always wanted one, saw one for sale. I thought, yes. And then I added a few extra little bits. Now unfortunately, oh, what a horrible noise. Unfortunately, I was too late. Um, I got an email saying they're very, very sorry. The Red Fangs are actually out of stock and they refunded me for them. Um, and they just sent everything else. But I thought that we would do things slightly differently to normal unboxings. We're not actually going to go through every animal in this box today. Instead, we're gonna pace this out through November. Why, why, why? Couple of reasons. Reason number one, I think that each animal in this box is rather unique in the invert world in its own special way. Hence the title of the video, right? I also think that each one will deserve its very own video. Now there are four animals in here and there are four Sundays in November. So I thought, why not pace this out? Do a sort of creature feature type thing um, for each animal in here and I will place something, whether it's in the title, description, or intro of the video, that gives you a little hint as to what it might be. But until you click on those videos, you won't know for sure. Kind of like a little game, huh? I think that will be good fun. What do you guys think? Uh, reason number two for doing it this way is I need a bit of a break at the moment. So if I can film all of November's videos today, or ambitious, and then next week, try and film all of December's videos because I already have one in mind which leaves only three more Sundays for December then I can take a full break away for by the time I've edited them for at least a month um, and that is to work on myself so if you are unaware guys I've been going through some mental health issues quite strongly lately um, if you were followed my old channel you would have seen a particular live stream that was quite upsetting for me to do and I had a lot of support from that um, and my physical health is not great either I've been eating terribly um, and not not the right foods not the right amounts and I figured that I don't want to be that way anymore so by pacing this out in November filming myself stuff for December taking a month off of doing this I can then work on me so when I'm back in the new year, I could be the real me, the, the me who I was not that long ago. So now that's all explained, you don't need any more. Uh, I'm gonna turn the camera down a little bit and we're gonna check that everything's alive and well, and then I'll show you the animal we're featuring today. Okay, so I already know that there's a heat pack in here because I can feel it through the box. So that's wonderful. 
because it's been quite chilly as of late. Um, by the way, just in case you want to know for record reasoning, the actual date that I've got this box is just before Halloween. Um, so although you're seeing this in November, it was bought in October. And it also means that by the time this time period has gone by, I could probably give you like updates on how these animals are doing, whether I've managed to keep them alive and well, and whether they're thriving or if I needed to make some changes. So I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, right, nosy guys, this isn't for you, this is for me to look at. Oh, they have not picked a place to put all this. Uh, substrate box. I'm gonna need that substrate box. I am so stupid. Right, let's just put it down here. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh no, no, one of them rolled out the box. I'm sorry. Oh, that's the one that I really don't want to open out of the box. One. Two. What is this? Oh, wait, yeah, that's maggots, uh, pinkies. Uh, that's not featuring in the videos. And that was just my purchase. Um, this is the, oh yes, this is the one for today's video. Three. And four. Sweet. So what is in this pot then? Let me give you some more hints while I have my coffee. One sec. Ah, it's my old logo. Old logo mug. I keep it as a memory of how far I'd come. And that was the first mantis I raised to adulthood on the back. Anyway, um, so this is an animal I have kept before twice. Um, the first time I kept this animal, I kept it for a long, long time. And it was male. The second time I kept this animal, it didn't last quite as long as the original one, um, and it was female. And the one I've got here today is also female. Now also by following the title, can you guys guess what it is? They also both had names, by the way. The male began with a P, the female began with an N. Now I know those of you that have followed me a long, long time will know exactly what I'm talking about. If you have worked out before I show you, comment below, I'll believe you. Let me know if you've worked out what animal this is, even if you couldn't pronounce the name properly. In this pot is a Cosmodorus femoralis. Thorny cricket female. Let's get her out and have a look. So you might hear some <laughs> horrible noises. Um, I've just got some polystyrene on the table. I keep messing up this table. I mean to repaint it. Um, yeah, I've got no excuse really. Just uh, put up with it. Right. Are you ready? Are you steady? Let's go. Oh. Hello, gorgeous. There she is. I didn't quite get that tape off properly. There we are. Wow. She's got a slight different coloration to Nicoletta, which was the female I had before. Let's get a better look at her, shall we? So here she is in all of her glory. Now, it's this back bit here. Let me just zoom on it. The almost like shield that they have on their back, the armored part. Hers is lighter brown, if I recall correctly, than my last one. I think she's got a bit damaged antenna there, but these unfortunately are wild caught because we've not mastered them in a hobby for captive breeding yet. I chose a female because there is a chance she'd already be gravid being wild caught. Whether we would be able to get offspring is very slim, but it is worth that try, right? So, what I love about these is their heads look like baked beans. Um, I absolutely adore that, baked bean heads. Um, and the spikes are just absolutely everywhere. They're almost kind of terrifying in a way, but they're not. They're well, well cool. 
and they are probably one of the favourite inverts I have ever owned. So how can I tell that she is in fact female and I definitely got a female? This little part at the end of the abdomen, the males do not have them. It's an ovipositor where she will lay her eggs. Now, we never had a macro lens when we owned Pavarotti or Nicoletta, our previous thorny crickets. My phone's going mental, sorry guys. Oh my God, right, I'm cutting this and pausing that, Jesus. Okay, we are back with the macro lens. Sorry about the phone. But look at that. She's got a very smooth surfaced head, that baked bean. And then the shield part, the shield armoured part at the back is also very smooth up until you get to those red tipped spikes. Now, as we all know, red is a sign for danger. These aren't actually dangerous, but they will scare off predators. And imagine trying to chomp on one of these with all those spikes sticking in your gob. You know, you're not gonna pick that. If you have a choice over another kind of cricket, or you have a choice to try and munch on this one, you're gonna stay away. And with those red tips, you're gonna look at it like, not only is this spiky, but it's dangerous. Let's not mess with this girl. Now, as you can see, she has stayed perfectly still for us. And they are quite like that. They're very docile. They do just kind of sit around and mope around. Um, and they are handleable too. Would you like me to try and handle her for you today? Well, I will handle her, but not right now because we need to set up an enclosure. So unless she starts having a, a walk around, um, I'm gonna leave her here for the time being. Now I've kept her under this light because it also is radiating heat and that might kind of wake her up as it were. Now they are nocturnal as well, to my knowledge. I mean, when I had um, Pavarotti, he would chirp at night, he would stridulate at night. Um, and it was a really kind of strange sound. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't kind of nice either. But I got so used to it that I missed that and I was so tempted to buy another male. But with the likelihood of them having a shorter lifespan, in most cases, I, I didn't really want to go for that. But should they still have them in stock, which is unlikely down the line, we may well get another male. And I will show you that, that interesting noise, as it were. So let's get her a new home and then I'll pick her up and we'll put her in. So, as you know, my special animals get mantis den enclosures and she is certainly a special animal. Now you might be thinking, Sam, this is a terrestrial enclosure when you kept Pavarotti and Nicoletta, you kept them arboreal because they climb. That is true, that is true. But I do think that for the size of this cricket, the 20 centimeters tall is enough. If I find that she's trapped up in a corner all the time, I may then put her into a taller one. But I honestly think that this is gonna be no issue as long as we set it up with lots of climbing spaces. So we are gonna mess around with this enclosure now and see what we can come up with. So I've rested the light on the top so you can see the overall appearance. And this is it. It doesn't look like a lot. I don't think she needs a lot. The idea behind it was to branch everything to one corner so that she can kind of hide in between if she chooses to. And then if we come round the back here, she's actually got a hell of a lot more space in a slightly dimmer lit area. She's got the moss for a bit of added effect and texture. I kind of want it to look almost like, you know, when you're building a stick hut when you go camping, that kind of appearance. So she's got lots of branches all coming up one direction and lots to climb. And it actually looks better in person than on the camera. I'm a little bit disappointed how this has come out on the camera. Um, but as I said, we may well move her homes in the future. Let's just see how she gets on here. She's also got these ventilation holes at the top, which should be enough for her to be able to grip onto if she wants to go upside down. Now, this is not actually a water dish. This is in fact a food dish. So what I'll be putting in here is bug grub, maybe for one week to keep her going. We'll also be adding dead insects, so dead, dead crickets, mealworms. We'll even add a few live ones in there as well because I have seen these take to live. Um, as for water, I'll just be spritzing around the sides. If I find she's drinking a lot, I will add a separate water dish that's very shallow for her. So there we have it. 
It's not aesthetically as pleasing as I had imagined it to be, but I think it will do for our girl. So all that's left is to hold her, show you that you can handle these safely, and then pop her inside. Okay, so now it's time to get her in. I've just given her a little nudge off of this lid because I want to remove her from that because there is actually um, still a little bit of tape on there. And then we're going to try and get her in now. Now these things actually do creep me out in the slightest bit because their heads are so low to the ground. Um, they start kind of feeling around with their mouth parts, sensing what's around. And because their heads are right by your skin, it looks like they are going to bite you. Um, now, whether they do bite or not, I'm actually not 100% sure, but I'm not too worried about it. I never got bit by Pavarotti or Nicoletta, and I would hold them now and again. She doesn't really like the feel of my hands, I don't think, but there she is. You can see? Well, it's a bit blurred, isn't it? Right, let's get her in so that you can have a a better look at her so there she is that's exactly how I wanted it to to look this is why I chose these branches you see how she is actually quite camouflaged I know you'll be able to spot her straight away because you know what you're looking for but if we to zoom this right out like here and let's just say you were walking past and this was all woodland all the way along you're not really gonna spot her at all so I did pick the right coloration branches I am happy with that Wow, to have one of these back in the collection. So what else can I tell you about the um, C. femoralis? Not a lot, there's not a lot of info out there. Now, these being an African species, as far as I'm aware anyway, they are probably better with a bit more warmth, but I did fine at general room temperature, but obviously the realm is kept pretty warm because I have a lot of animals. Um, so I haven't had any trouble. They weren't lethargic in any way. That's normally a good sign that you need to up the heat if your invertebrate is being rather lethargic, rather they're just slow and like not their normal self. Obviously you saw how quickly she woke up when I um, started tapping her. She's still very, very active. So she should be fine. Look at that, she's like, what are you doing? So now I've got her to turn around. And you can see, that's what I was talking about where they sense. So they do that when they're on your hand as well. Right, she's in a really awkward place now. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do, I am just gonna fill up her food dish and put her away. Oh, I wanted to get one more shot of the baked bean head. What should we call her, guys? I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking we should call her Heinz. What do you think? Shall we call her Heinz for Heinz baked beans? Why not? So here is Heinz with her hind legs. Give it. Are you gonna turn? Maybe if I tap you, you'll turn around and we can see your baked bean head. No, nope, she's just thinking, leave me alone. I've just got out of the box. Please don't prod me. Okay, we're gonna leave you be. I'm not going to disturb you anymore. Perhaps if we can turn through the acrylic you can have a look you can just see the mouth parts moving oh she's actually chomping on some moss by the looks of it look at that interesting I may have to get some fresher moss in here if she's going to uh, adapt well to that Cool. Right, anyway, I guess that's a wrap, guys. So, what did you think of Heinz? Do you think that the C. femoralis were worth being named as unique? I certainly do. I really, really do. They're just such a, an interesting species to own. Downfalls, your cons, that we haven't mastered them in the hobby yet. There's little information about them and i don't think anybody has succeeded in in breeding programs over here but i could be totally wrong on that i haven't fully looked into that um, your positives cracking appearance 
great things to, to show off if you have people coming round. Handleable, um, obviously, maybe not so much for children because you can feel those spikes on you. Um, and they're just quite docile. You know, they're not gonna just bolt out of an enclosure. You could probably leave this open um, and I would find it either still inside or just on the edge, just down here. So yeah, pretty cool. And she's definitely eating that moss. So I'm gonna end the video here. Again, let me know in the comments below if you think she is unique. Again, if you want a Christmas jumper, link is in the description below. I'm gonna wear this jumper through all of the November videos um, because, well, who doesn't want their merch being worn at Christmas time, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.